Hello friends, how are you all doing? My name is Shaz, short for Shahrazad, and I love colorful makeup. Today we're gonna do another to buy or not to buy video where I'm gonna look at what's gonna release or what has just released in the eyeshadow and colorful eyeshadow uh, space and I will tell you my opinions on whether I'm gonna pick it up or not. And I also encourage you to write in the comments below what your thoughts are on these palettes and if you're picking them up or maybe you've already picked them up. Also, I'm gonna make this eye look, uh, which I make with this palette from Gloss Gods. This palette's called Gal on Moon. Um, and I'm gonna use Primal Palette by Blend Bunny to do some of the mattes, because this palette is all shimmers. If all of that sounds good to you, as always, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to this channel for more content like this. Now let's jump into the video. If you realize I'm not super spooky today because other than my nails because most of the stuff this week is not spooky we kind of went through this wave of a lot of Halloween stuff the past couple of weeks and then all of a sudden we go into probably more holiday stuff are gonna come out later but like now is that in between period where people are just releasing regular things regardless I have my candle um, pumpkin allspice candle burning here and I have my tea Feel free to get your tea, snack, wine, water, whatever you're, you're into. I already primed my eyes with Painterly from MAC. The reason I'm using Gal on Mars is going to be related to the first item that I'm going to talk about. And that is that Gloss Gods is releasing two palettes on October 2nd at 10 a.m. Central European time. These two palettes are called New Neutrals and Vintage Glam. The colors are a little bit toned down for me perhaps but I can't deny that vintage glam definitely caught my eyes some of those shimmers and gloss gods has fantastic shimmers let me tell you that you're gonna see in the eye look today so I don't intend to pick anything up from this release upon release but um, I definitely have done double take I might even do more thinking about it it's just that there's a lot of stuff that is released that are a lot more colorful I'm gonna go into this purple color called Mimic. I talked about this item briefly last week. At that point in time, they had not fully revealed the palette yet. And folks, I'm intrigued by that palette. The dark colors in this palette really caught my eyes. I went on the website. I've added it pretty much multiple times a day to my cart. I really wanted to buy it with the... 12-piece uh, brush set that it comes with but then I realized the brush set is $30 for 12 brushes and while that isn't really a lot high price for 12 brushes there are other brush sets that Beauty Bay has on their website that are on sale yeah so so I'm conflicted I might not wait for the brush set to come back and I might just pick the palette up with another brush set other than that I'm not too stoked about the liquid eyeshadows I don't use liquid eyeshadows. I've never really had luck with liquid eyeshadows. Um, I had a lot of them from, what's the name of that brand? Stila. You remember? You all remember they came out in like 2018 or something? I had a bunch of those. I might still have them. I just never used them. It's just not something that I gravitate towards as much. I kind of forget that I have them. So it's probably not going to be something I'm going to pick up. Oh, folks, this next one is so exciting. And this is the Halloween six pan palette from Sugar Drizzle. It's called Trick Roar Treat. Folks, those swatches, these are totally my colors. And I think I've mentioned in the past, I really like Sugar Drizzle as a brand. They have great quality, both mattes and shimmers. I've never really had bad experience with their quality or with their palettes. In fact, I recently reviewed the Meant to Be palette actually like earlier this week. I don't think the video is up. I made two eye looks with it. I'll, I'll link it once I, um, once I edit it and put it up. If I remember correctly, my main critique of that palette was that the pans, the way the pans are situated is losing a lot of packaging. This palette could totally complement the other palette and because the colors are relatively complements of each other and I see the two of them as great companions when you go on trips and so on and I think I've mentioned in the past that I travel a lot for work 
So I'm always looking for palettes that I can just put in my suitcase and travel with and I'm and I don't have to be afraid of, I don't know, the mirror breaking and things like that. So so definitely eyeing this palette. Also, I have a dinosaur thing. I said this last week, right? I said it. I have a dinosaur thing. So this palette is totally up my alley, of course. Y'all already know that. I don't need to say it again. <laughs> I'm gonna move on to this darker one with a fluffier brush. This might be a little bit too fluffy. Yeah, so I'm looking at the Glamlight Barbie collab. If I had to guess, I would think that Glamlight planned to release this earlier in the year. And for whatever reason, I don't know, supply chain issues or whatever other reason and then having that other release with Michaela just delayed this release because we're going into the fall and we're all looking for grungy colors this is super summer I mean even even the photos on it is Malibu Barbie it's pretty it's just releasing at the wrong time you all should probably know by now that this is my color pinks purples cool toned colors like this are my color stories so if this had released maybe in May, I would have purchased this probably. At this point in time, I'm looking at grunge and there is a lot of other grunge that's coming out um, that is grabbing my attention way more. Okay folks, the next thing I wanna talk about is Luxy Beauty. It's been a while since I talked about Luxy Beauty on, in this channel, but we talked about a couple of Luxy Beauty things in the past. They're coming out with a series called Following like fall mixed with Halloween that has 20 single shadows. So Luxie Beauty, we know at least to the level that I know, they only release singles. I've never seen them release a palette. These are beautiful. The swatches look lovely. Uh, however, I think I mentioned this in the last review uh, or the last time in one of the to buy or not to buys when I talked about Luxie Beauty that the most amount of critique that I've heard of Luxie Beauty is the fact that the swatches on the website look way more vibrant, way more opaque. If you swatch the product at home, you're going to get something that's a lot sheerer, maybe not as vibrant. So with that knowledge, let me know if you're interested in picking this up. At this point in time, I'm not interested and I don't have money for anything beyond some of the things I really want to buy. However, that color called Scream, uh, that looks like a greenish silver to purple is definitely calling my name if it swatches like that if it swatches like that it's calling my name all of these singles are going to be two dollars fifty cents each so frankly that's another thing about look see beauty is that even if things don't swatch the way that you see on the website they're very economically priced so if you buy a couple of their shadows and they don't work out for you you're not going to break the bank. So these, these I think were released today, so they're already available on the Luxie Beauty website. Folks, I talked about the next one last week, Bart Palette, which is a new palette that was released by Fantasy Cosmetica yesterday, is already available. It's still available. It's not sold out if you're interested in picking it up. It's $39. And folks, I picked this up. And the shipping label is already generated. Last time I received my Fantasy Cosmetica order in like, I want to say three days. So if that's how they ship their orders, I'm so looking forward to receiving this very fast. And it's going to come up in this channel when I do. I'm putting a little bit of NYX's glitter primer on my eyes right now because I want to go into shimmers. The next thing I want to talk about is ColourPop's spooky secret which is a mystery box they've come out with it's already available on their website and it's for 49 dollars it's supposed to have the value of 165 dollars value of 165 dollars let's talk about this for a minute the value of something i don't need in my collection is literally zero dollars to me if i don't need something and it doesn't apply and it doesn't add value to my collection it's worthless to me there's no reason why i should spend a penny on it so there is no reason why you should go buy something that you will possibly never use it doesn't matter what color pop would have sold it on their website as it's worthless to you and the only case where buying a mystery box from a brand makes sense in my mind is if you have absolutely nothing from that brand or you have maybe a couple of things from the brand or you have things from a while ago from the brand and you want to try some new things from the brand. 
otherwise, if you're going to buy this box and it's going to have a bunch of things you already have in your collection, or there is a chance you're going to have a couple of these items, or there is a chance you're going to not use a couple of these items, there is no reason you should buy this box. I'm going to go into this color. I don't know what color you see. It's a green to teal to purple, and it's absolutely gorgeous, and I'm going to go into it. Look at that. They're calling it a spooky box, but I'm not convinced it's going to have a spooky and Halloween themed product only in it. I'm in fact not even sure if it's going to have Halloween themed products in it at all, because what does Colourpop have that is Halloween themed? So they have some uh, uh, Hocus Pocus, right? And then last year they had Nightmare Before Christmas but they don't have that available anymore so unless they bring it back and put it in the box or unless they've had some inventory on hand and they're going to now put those inventory in the box yeah i don't know but please be diligent whether you really need to buy this box this i talked about briefly last week this is phantom orbs by divina now we have the full reveal and they are just divine they're so beautiful and the collection is $84. It's, it, it was $102 for the six colors, but they're available for $84. So there's some money off that collection. I think I mentioned last week that I'm gonna pick them up and I am very likely going to pick them up. Frankly, they're a little expensive for six pans, but I, they're just absolutely gorgeous. Let me know down below if you would like to see me do swatch videos and eye look videos with this because that would help me know, you know, I'm probably gonna pick them up anyway, but that would also help. Okay, friends, I'm gonna pick a, pick a brush like this and I'm gonna dig into this color called Luna. This color is very flaky, so I need to be kind of careful with it. And I'm going to put this in my inner corner all the way into that teal to purple color. The next thing I want to talk about is the new releases by Melt called the Zodiac Bat Sides Palette. These are four eight pan palettes. Each pan is representing a zodiac element, fire, earth, water, and air. I think the idea is that the name of the shades are supposed to be the negative traits of someone who falls into that zodiac's element. Is this supposed to be funny? Like, are we supposed to think that calling someone these negative traits is supposed to be funny? Like, is that, is that what, what's going on? Because I'm so not getting this. Whoever thinks calling someone manipulative is ha 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 lives in a completely different galaxy from the galaxy I live in. If someone in a regular conversation attributes these kinds of adjectives to anybody, it's considered very rude and inappropriate. So why is it that we willingly are expected to pay for something that calls us these negative attributes? I'm not getting this and I find this disrespectful to women actually and I find it very distasteful and I don't know how a brand can be so out of touch with the reality of the world today. Don't we have enough misogyny and negative things happening in the world already? This woman was killed by Iranian government because she was showing hair. I mean, we do realize these, these traits are the reason women these days get passed up for promotions and things like that. Like we do realize that this is the world we're living in because they're considered bossy or they're considered arrogant or they're considered aggressive and and we're feeding into that culture instead of fostering this mentality of being kind to other women this is how we're talking about ourselves and and i just don't find that okay i would not want to spend a penny of my money to things that propagate a negative perspective on women versus to things that try to empower women honestly after seeing this i thought to myself I want to put my money towards that palette by Huda Beauty, the empowered palette, because that's the type of messaging we should be sending to younger women. And the reason I'm saying women versus men is because the population of men who, are, who wear makeup is much less 
than the population of women who wear makeup. So these are usually marketed to women, right? So I want to foster a community where we are very kind to other women and we only talk positive about other women because it's as hard in the world out there as is. I'm just surprised that nobody has said anything about this, particularly from a minority owned brand. My expectations would have been way higher than this. Moving on. So the next thing I'm going to talk about is Saints, Angels and Sinners, which is a brand that's sold on Etsy and they're having a lot of new things coming out and they have 30% off. Frankly, I think for as long as I remember they were having 30% off. They have a palette called You Are a Gift. There's another palette called Be the Gift, one called High Christmas. You can pre-order these either in bundles or individually. And they also have another palette called Coco. They have other things beyond just cosmetics. They have a cosmetic bag you can purchase and some other items. They have nine pan multichrome eyeshadow cubes. I think they have a couple of those. They're named after uh, semi-precious stones. If you're interested, they're all available. You can put the order in. It does take for her, I think, six to ten weeks to ship them. So even if you put the order today, it's going to take some time for it to get to you. Just letting you know. And I do have some of her products. In fact, you know what? I have this palette right here. Um, the Follow Your Dreams palette. Absolutely love the quality of her products. Both shimmers and masks are pretty good. Okay, moving on to the next item. I think it was last year that Teresa's Dead collabed with Lethal Cosmetics. And she's collabing again. I think the last palette was called Lethal's Dead. And this palette is called Teresa's Lethal. And the palette, honestly, is very much up my alley. And it is available. Those colors are beautiful. And I don't own anything by Lethal. Except for from the palette, there are face powders and eyeliners in this collection. And I like the color of eyeliners. The only thing is that I had heard that these eyeliners dry relatively fast which is part of the reason why I wouldn't want to pay $15 for a single pot of eyeliner because I don't use eyeliners that often anyway but that eyeshadow palette is catching my eyes and it's available right now I'm on Lethal's website but before I buy something let's move on so Game Beauty is coming out with cyberpunk palette and it says it's available now. The palette's pretty. I have never seen, I've never used Game Beauty. It has 10 shades and it is $42. Between this and Teresa's Dead's palette, I'm probably likely to buy Teresa's Dead because that color story is more up my alley and I would love to support Teresa. By the way, congratulations to Teresa. I think I forgot to say that. I think you all see this color as a teal, but when I look at it, I see blue. This is one of those relatively squishy colors, so I'm going to do this area with it. So the next item I want to talk about is Beauty Blender's Vault. Uh, this caught my attention because a lot of people had talked about it. I think this is 190 something dollars, which makes every single Beauty Blender in this vault around $16, which I think Beauty Blenders go for $20, right? You're gonna get around four or so dollars off per Beauty Blender if you buy this. This type of idea is totally something I would do, meaning, I mean, this is a non-perishable item. I could keep it for four years until I go through all of them, but I personally don't have any use for this. I don't even put foundation on my face 99% of the time. So, but I can understand the idea and it does save you some money if you're a Beauty Blender user. The only thing I would think about is would Beauty Blender be relevant in four years? I mean, was it relevant four years ago? I don't know. I guess it kind of was, it was. I, I understand the concept. I just don't have any use for this. I'm now gonna use a brush like this and I'm gonna go into this color called Celestial. This color is one of those gold to purple to blue multichromes. You know, from the angle I'm looking at it, I see gold green, but I think you all see blue purple. Yeah, so it's one of those beautiful colors. It's just a little bit hard pressed in the pan. So She Glam is doing a collab with Corpse Bride. This collab is gonna have a couple of different things. There's gonna be lip balms, highlighters, lip glosses, eyeshadow palette. She Glam is the beauty brand of Shein, right? And Shein is a producer of fast fashion. 
I have started reducing my consumption of fast fashion and I'm investing in higher quality items. I also can't really wear synthetic fibers. It's just uncomfortable for me. So, and most of fast fashion products are very cheap polyester and rayon and things like that. You rarely see natural fibers used because natural fibers nowadays are a lot more expensive. Also, as a part from that, this palette and this whole collection, there's nothing in it that I like. This is not for me. So neither the concept, n n neither the color stories and the palette, nor the general propagating the fast fashion kind of idea. I don't want my money to go to a fast fashion company. I just don't think they're doing a lot of good for the world. Okay, friends, this next one is going to be our last, and I'm so excited about this. I'm currently in the process of doing videos about a lot of stuff I ordered earlier this year from Touch of Glam that I recently received, so stay tuned for those. And Touch of Glam usually takes about, I want to say, three or so months to deliver things for you, but they are releasing a couple of things for Halloween. They have a Spellbound uh, collection, which is absolutely gorgeous. This is going to be one of those like mosaic type multichromes, and they're super unique. Folks, I've talked about wanting to invest in unique shades. This is what I'm talking about. They also have some other things releasing for Halloween. They have a quad. I think the palette's going to be $74. You can still get 15% off, which you usually can get on, their, on the, their Etsy shop. And these are just divine. They are also extending their holographic collection. They're now going to have some more Halloween-y related stuff. There's going to be Creamsicle Hollow, Space Barbie Hollow, Alien Hollow, Devil Hollow, Soul Hollow, and Toxic Hollow. And I think these will become available mid-October. It, it says October 18, at least for the hollows, uh, but the other ones might become available or earlier or later. But I know their shop is closed right now and it's going to open mid October and I personally cannot wait and I'm gonna pick some things up and once I do they're gonna come on this channel I have all the holographic collection that they've released so far and I'm currently in the middle of videoing that collection for you and it's probably gonna come up in this channel in the next seven or so days so stay tuned for that when it becomes available I will also tag it here the main issue with touch of glam is that they're collection usually has so many things that it's very difficult to make a judicious decision <laughs> but i feel like that's a good issue to have anyway folks with all of that said we're coming to an end and my eye look is also done thank you so much for being here with me if you enjoyed this video don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel for more content like this i love you all and until next time bye